today we have to do determinants. So what is most important in determinants is about its properties. Uh, properties of determinants. What are those properties? Let us see. Then we'll see questions of that. If you interchange rows and columns of a determinant, then the value of the determinant does not change. Like if it is 2, minus 1, 3, 0, 7, 1. Six two three, and you want to change the row and column. So it will become two zero six minus one seven two three one three. The rows have become column and column have become row. So the value of the determinant will be same. You can calculate that. You know how to ex expand a determinant and calculate it. So this is the first property. Second property is that if you change two rows, interchange two rows or two columns, then the resultant determinant is negative of the original determinant. That is, if it is A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3, and you write it as B1, B2, B3, A1, A2, A3, and C1, C2, C3. That means you have interchanged row 1 with row 2. So there will be a minus sign which will come outside. This is another property. Similarly, if you see the third property, it says that if you have two columns or two rows identical, then you have the value of the determinant as zero. So I'm taking here two columns identical. So the determinant value will be zero. Another property says that if any row is having all the entries as zero or any column is having all the entries as zero, then also value of the determinant is zero. Is it clear till here? I hope. Yes, sir. Okay. Next, we have if we take a row or a column, like we have A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3. So we take any one row. Suppose we take row one and we multiply a constant k to row 2 or row 3 and add it with row 1. So one thing is important that the row where we are doing the change, changing, that row is not multiplied by the constant. So that will give you a1 plus kb1. This will become a2 plus kb2. This will become a3 plus kb3. And this will become B1, B2, B3. This will become C1, C2, C3. So, as you can clearly see that this value is now changed in the first row because of this operation which we have done. But the value of the determinant will not change. Why it is happening? So, because you can write it as addition of two determinants, A1, A2, A3. B1, B2, B3, 
C1, C2, C3. This is how we do determinant addition plus K B1, K B2, K B3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3. So this is how we write it by splitting this addition. Now, after writing it like this, this remains as it is. For this another one, you can take K common from the first row. And it will come outside the determinant. So B1, B2, B3, B1, B2, B3, and C1, C2, C3. So what will happen now? That this particular determinant will be equal to zero because we have seen a property above that if two rows or two columns are identical, then value of the determinant is zero. So this determinant becomes zero. So the only determinant which is remaining is A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3. So obviously when this becomes zero, then this is equal to this. So that is why when you do this row operation, you get the value of the determinant same because another when it will be splitted after addition and K is taken common, then it will become zero. And one more thing you have to understand, this is very important as we have done matrices also, that when you do a scalar multiplication with matrix or determinant, like a scalar multiplication with matrix means this is a matrix and this is A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3, multiplied with a scalar K. So what would happen that which is Adrian has shown, okay. So what will happen that this K will multiply with all the elements of the matrix, K A1, K A2, K A3, K B1, K B2, K B3, K C1, K C2, K C3. But if you multiply K with any particular row, or any particular column, A1, A2, A3, in case of determinant, then it is sufficient. So this is a determinant. So it will become KA1, KA2, KA3, and other row will be as it is. So it can be multiplied to any one row or any one column. I'm just for showing you, you are multiplying with the first row. So this difference you have to understand between a scalar multiplication with a matrix and a multiplication with a determinant. Now, I hope you are writing it also side by side. So I understood till here. Ideal, you have joined a little late. Have you understood? Yes, sir. Okay. Now we have few questions based on the properties which we will discuss now. Okay, so this is one question which we can see. Okay. If A plus X equal to B plus Y equal to C plus Z plus one,
where a b c x y z are non zero distinct real numbers where a b c x y z are non zero distinct real numbers then determinant of x y z a plus y b plus y c plus y x plus a y plus b z plus c is equal to options are given y into b minus a option b is y into a minus b option c is zero option d is y into a minus c <coughs> so once you try it then we'll discuss it now i'm giving you two to four minutes this question was being asked in 2020 j So addition of determinant you have to do as we discussed above here. As we discussed now how this addition is being done in determinants. Another rows will not change or columns will not change. One will be splitted. Then after splitting that, we can again split next one. So giving you a hint or sort of approach, you can say. From there, you will get a direction. So what you can do is you can take x, y, z, and this as a, b, c, and x plus a, y plus b, z plus c. So I'm splitting the second column x, y, z, y, 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 x plus a, y plus b plus c now you proceed and just think how will we proceed further again you have to split you will split again this one will be splitted into two different determinants again this will be splitted into two different determinants again
Aditya is saying it is zero. Aditya, I think your answer is not correct. So let me explain it. Uh, in the next step, what we will do is we will split both the determinants. So it will be x, y, z, a, b, c, x, y, z. And this will be x, y, z, a, b, c and abc this is the splitting of the first determinant uh, b adriel is saying it is b option b option let's see what is y into a minus b i think b is correct so let us solve it plus we split this one also so x y z y y y x y z plus x y z y y y a, B, C. Okay. Now, if you see here that the first column and the third column, both of them are identical. So this determinant will be zero. If you see here, second column and the third column, both are identical. So this will be zero. If you see here, first column and third column, both are identical. So it will also be zero. Finally, we reach the last. So here, no two columns or no two rows are having the same value. So one thing is there that in the second column, all of these are y. So y can be taken as constant outside and it will be x, y, z. 1, 1, 1, A, B, C. So this is how we can write it in the next step. Now, in that, now we have to expand. So Y, and we can expand about any row or any column. So let us expand about the first row. So X into C minus B. This will be the C minus B. Then minus 1, and this will become Y, C c minus z b and then a plus a y minus z so this will be y c x minus b x minus y c plus z b plus a y minus a z so some terms need to be cancelled here. Are they getting cancelled or not? Yeah. One more thing uh, is that don't do this because one more thing is there. The relation is given here. A plus X equal to B plus Y equal to C plus Z plus 1. Right. So it is you can do like this also, but it will be very lengthy because you have to use that particular relation. So don't do this here. Instead, use property now. So A plus X equal to B plus Y is given. Is equal to C plus Z plus 1 is given. This is what is given. So you have to use this relation in this one. So this was coming out to be Y, X, Y, Z, 1, 1, 1. A, B, C. So don't expand it. If you'll expand it, you will get a difficult situation. So instead of that, as you can see that it is becoming A plus X and B plus Y 
and C plus Z plus one. So you get a hint from here. What is the hint from here? That let us write column one as column one plus column three. So this will be A plus X, this will be B plus Y, this will be C plus Z, one, 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 A, B, C. After writing it like this, we know that A plus X is equal to B plus Y is equal to C plus Z plus one. Let us suppose all of them are equal to lambda. Let's say. So what you can write that A plus X is lambda. Yes, A plus X is lambda, B plus Y is lambda. And since C plus Z plus one is lambda, so C plus Z is lambda minus one. One, 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 A, B, C. Now you can expand because you have used that relation. Or instead of expanding, now you can use uh, one more thing, column row one as row one minus row two and row two as row two minus row three, then expand because this will make it more simpler. So this will become zero, this will become zero, this will become A minus B. This will become one, this will become zero, this will become B minus C. This will be lambda minus one as it is, this will be one, this will be C. So this will be Y. As you see here, it is the second column, which is zero, zero, one. So let us expand about the second column. So first row, second column, it is zero, second row, second column, zero, third to second column, it is one. So minus one, we will take as cofactor we have to take and B minus C minus A plus B. This is what we are getting, right? No, B minus C is multiplied with zero. So you don't get B minus C. It is getting multiplied to you. Minus A plus B you will get only. So this will be Y into A minus B. So your answer will be Y into A minus B which is option B, which is correct. So I hope you understood the steps involved here. Now we come to the next question. This question is also asked in 2020 J, non January, 9 January shift one. So this is also based on properties. This question says, A minus two B plus C equal to one. If fx is equal to x plus a, x plus 2, x plus 1, okay, and x plus b, x plus 3, x plus 2, and x plus c, x plus 4, x plus 3. Then in that case, you have to show or you have to find the value of fx. So you can also consider that prove that there are options given, but I'm not giving you options. I'm writing it like this, fx equal to 1. So you can again try this and don't start splitting from a starting because here if you will do a splitting it will get eight determinants and it will be very difficult to solve all of them because not all of them will become zero only one will become zero so think of something else how you can use the properties.
I'm giving you two minutes more. I will give you the first hint. That is the approach. Uh, what you will do first, and that is the most important hint. After that, you will get an idea. Hint or approach, you can say. That do uh, column one, as, column one, no, row one. Do row one do this operation row one is row one minus two row two plus row three do this row operation with this determinant and you will that get an further idea So let us discuss it now. I hope you have tried it. Have anyone got success because it is about proof that so it was not about finding the answer. So uh, I think maybe you have got some success. Aditya, what about you? How much have you been able to do this question? Sir, I have uh... Did this step uh, with, with R1, R1 minus 2, R2 plus R3, sir. Sir, is my top row 100 RDN? 100. Zero, zero. Perfect. So, what do you want to do? So, this is the zero new determinant value. It's not zero. Nahi hai na. 
all three are not zero. Are zero the What about other? यहाँ तक हुआ बाकी लोगों का? देखो यहाँ पर when आदित्य did it, तो I think अगर बीच बीच में कुछ हिंदी में बोल दो तो कोई इशू है कि Adrian you have to understand Hindi? Yes sir, I can understand. But you can't speak. Yes. Okay. Anyway, we'll use a little bit of Hindi. So, uh, when we uh, have here uh, row 1 minus 2, row 2 plus row 3. So, row 1 plus row 3 minus 2 row 2. So, x plus a minus 2x minus 2b plus x plus c. So, x plus x 2x minus 2x so it is a minus 2b plus c this will be the first one which you will get when you will do here so it will become x plus 2 minus x minus 3 two times so minus 6 it will become plus x plus 4 so this will be 0 because minus 2x and plus 2x and minus 6 plus 2 minus 4 plus 4 will be 0 this will also be zero similarly. So you will get this, which Aditya has got. And then the next step is to calculate this determinant. So don't start expanding as such, because if you start expanding, it will be very lengthy to calculate. So do one more thing. Now you take r2 as r2 minus r3 so this will become same this will become b minus c xx will cancel this will become minus one this will become minus one this is x plus c four x plus four x plus three so we want to get maximum number of zeros so that we will be able to least calculate in the last step uh, sir yes sir i didn't do this step but uh, i directly calculated the value of the determinant and it came out to be one that is also fine that is also fine so here then we what we do column two as column two minus column three so one b minus c x plus c this will be zero zero one and zero minus one x plus three now let us expand this and when we'll expand about first row all other are zero only one is there so one and this will be multiplied with this will be zero minus one into minus one so plus one so value will be zero and so, so we'll see one more questions on the properties of determinant then we will move on to solution of system of linear equations One second, let me see the question.
So one question is when there was AI triple E, there before J means uh, there was one exam which was called AI triple E also. So from there, there is a question and it involves complex numbers, number iota also. So 6i minus 3i, 1, 4, 3i minus 1, 23i. And complex numbers in that iota is root over minus 1. It is an imaginary number we know is equal to x plus i y. So here it is being asked value of x and y. Options are given. Can give or options is not needed. You can just give me the value of x and the value of y. Uh, Aditya has given the answer and that is the right answer, but I'm not giving you the answers. So I'm waiting for others to also give the answer. Adriel, Hamza, Priya, Darshini, you need to give the answer as well because this is not so much difficult question. Yes, Adriel, your answer is also correct. Hamza, what about you? How much have you learned till now? If you want, you can just expand this determinant also. Priyadarshini, what about you? Riyadarshini has also got the answer correct. Hamza, you are the only one who is remaining to give the answer. What is your status? How have you approached this question? You have to just expand it. Your voice is not audible, Hamza. Yes, sir, almost done. Almost done, okay. So I'm waiting for your answer.
Yes, Hamza. Time is getting over now for you. Have you come to the answer? So let me do it in short. Uh, as most of you got the answer. So if you expand it, what will happen? Uh, yeah, Hamza, your answer is correct. So let us not discuss it. All of you have got the correct answer. That is X is zero, Y is zero. So this, when you will expand, you will get at zero. Fine. If it was something like three minus six iota, then X is three, Y is minus six like this. So that may also be possible. Now we are coming to solution of system of linear equations. So if you take a system of linear equation like this, a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 z is equal to d1 a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 z is equal to d2 a3 x plus b3 y plus c3 z is equal to d3 then how can we find the value of x y and z so we have this method that we take first a matrix which is a which is a1 b1 C1, A2, B2, C2, A3, B3, C3. And we take another matrix X, which is X, Y, Z. And then we take another matrix B, which is D1, D2, D3. And we can write this one as AX is equal to B. Because if you take A here, A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2, A3, B3, C3, and X as X, Y, Z, and B as D1, D2, D3. Then when you will multiply x plus c1 y plus c1 z and then a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 z then a3 x plus b3 y plus c3 z is equal to d1 d2 d3 and when you equate these two matrices you get a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 z is equal to d1 first element with first element, second element with second element, and third element with third element. So this is actually the another way of representing this system of linear equations in matrix form, that is AX equal to B, where A are the coefficients matrix, X is the variable matrix, and B is the constant matrix. So this interpretation is clear to everyone. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. So now if it is being asked that how to find X, Y, Z, so that there are two ways. First way is Kramer's rule. That is more, more common. Kramer's rule say that X will be delta 1 by delta, Y will be delta 2 by delta, and Z will be delta 3 by delta. And what is delta 1? The delta first delta is this coefficient we will take a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 and a3 b3 c3 this is delta when we'll take delta 1 delta 1 means that the first column which is a1 a2 a3 is replaced with d1 d2 d3 
and this is b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 and then delta 2 is there which is the second column will be replaced with d1 d2 d3 a1 a2 a3 and c1 c2 c3 will remain as it is and this will be d1 d2 d3 and delta 3 will be the third column is replaced with d1 d2 d3 so when you see these values of delta delta 1 delta 2 delta 3 these are all determinants you calculate them and you put here you will get xyz but what is to be remembered is that delta should not be equal to zero then only you will get unique solution or we say you get a value of x also y also z also because delta is in the denominator if it will become zero then you can't find x y z it will be undefined if delta is equal to zero then also there are two cases one case is if delta 1, delta 2, delta 3 are also 0, that is numerator is everywhere 0, denominator is everywhere 0. Then we will say it has infinite solution. And if the denominator is 0, but numerator is somewhere not 0, that means you can say at least 1 of delta 1, delta 2, delta 3 is non-zero, then you can't get a solution because any finite value by 0, which is non-zero finite value by 0 is not defined. So this we have to remember here, Kramer's rule. So if we see a question based on Kramer's rule, let us see. Okay, one question is here. It says for the system of linear equations x minus 2y equal to 1, x minus y plus kz is equal to minus 2 ky plus 4z is equal to 6 where k belongs to real number so you have to find the value of k first case is that when <coughs> system has unique solution that is you remember that delta is not equal to zero that is what you have to do second is find the value of k 
if system has no solution. So just try it once. And if you want, I will show you the above part. So you would be able to write it, then try this. So would you like to see the above part also? Oh, yes. Sir. Okay, so write equation is this one, a1x plus b1y plus c1z equal to d1a2x plus b2y. So you can write this portion of this is the equation part. Then this matrix representation, you can skip for now. And then Kramer's rule you can write. So first write this equation. And after you have written this three equations, you can come to this Kramer's rule and then its condition. First Kramer's rule. And then you see this condition. Now you can do this question. So I'm giving you two minutes for the first one, two to four minutes for the first one, then we'll discuss it. And then again, I'll give you some time for the second one. Hamza is saying that K is equal to 2, okay. 
what about others so if you see the determinant let us wait for one minute more for others because that time all others were waiting for you and this time others will get a chance pierre darshini is saying zero and aditya is saying k has any value other than two okay so various person is getting various answers so let us see delta so delta is 1 minus 2 0 because x coefficient is 1 y minus 2 and z is not there so its coefficient is 0 then 1 minus 1 k then 0 k 4 now you calculate this so 1 into minus 4 minus k square and then plus 2 So it would become four minus k k into zero, and zero will be zero. So this will be minus k square plus four to eight minus four four. Now what is the condition for unique solution? Delta is not equal to zero. Not delta is equal to zero, but delta is not equal to zero. So minus k square plus four should not be equal to zero, which means that k square should not be equal to four, which means k should not be equal to plus two or minus two, both. K cannot be two also. K cannot be minus two also. <laughs> Sorry. So. Aditya answer was incomplete as he said that k has any value other than two, but it cannot be also minus two. Hamza, you said k equal to two, but k is not equal to two and also not equal to minus two. And Priyadarshini, your answer is not uh, correct because it is k equal to zero, which you have given. It should be k is not equal to plus minus two. So you can say that first one is any value of k. Except minus two comma two. Now do the second. Okay, are they saying k equal to two and minus two? Uh, are they for no solution? Delta is equal to zero. That is fine. But one more condition is that at least one of delta one, delta two, delta three is not zero. Have you checked that also or not? Because uh, maybe both is not answered. Two and minus two. One is there. One is not there. So delta equal to zero. That you will take off course. That is for the second part. K will become plus minus two. That is the first condition. What is another condition? That if you take delta one, delta two, delta three. At least one is not zero. So 
so as you see here that delta 1 is by replacing the first column with 1 minus 2 and 6 only 2 aditya is seen now i think you are correct so 1 minus 2 and 6 when you will take delta 1 and it will be minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 k and 0 k 4 when you calculate it you will get minus 4 minus k square and then plus 2 into minus 8 minus 6 k so this would become minus k square minus 12 k minus 20 right now if you take k as 2 it will become not equal to 0 But if you take k equal to minus 2, it will become 0. 24 minus 24, it will be 0. So for 2, it is becoming not 0. And for z minus 2, it is becoming 0. So your journey does not end here only. You have to do further calculations also. So delta 2 also you have to find. Now delta 2 will be 1 minus 2, 6 here, 0, k, 4 here. And the uh, first one, 1, 1, 1, 0. It is 1, 1, 0. This will become minus 4 to 8, minus 6, k. And then minus 1 and 4 minus 6k minus 12 and uh, this will become for k equal to 2 minus 24 so delta 2 will be not equal to 0 and for k is equal to minus 2 if you will take delta 2 will be 0 so this we see for delta 2 we will come to a conclusion but we have to find all three. Delta 3 will be, last column will be 1 minus 2, 6. First is 1, 1, 0. And second is minus 2, minus 1, k. So this would become minus 6 plus 2k and then we have minus 1 and this will become minus 12 minus k so this will become 3k plus 6 so for k equal to 2 delta 3 is not equal to 0 and for k is equal to minus 2 delta 3 is 0. So what we observe here that we want that at least one of delta 1, delta 2, delta 3 should not be 0. That means complement of all are 0. So for k equal to minus 2 delta 1 is 0. For k is equal to minus 2 delta 2 is 0. For k is equal to minus 3 delta 3 is 0. So we can't take minus 2. And for k is equal to 2, even if 1 is non-zero and other are 0, then also our purpose is fulfilled. But here, what is that is all of are non-zero. So if all are non-zero, then also fine. If 1 is non-zero, then is also fine. If 2 is non-zero, then also it is fine. So k is equal to 2 can be accepted. So if we see both the conditions, above is k is plus minus 2 and second is k is equal to 2. So we'll say that k is equal to 2 is our answer.
I hope this is clear to everyone. Priya Darshini, is it clear? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So uh, let us see one more question. If the system of equations x minus 2y plus 3z is equal to 9, two x plus y plus z is equal to b. x minus 7i plus az. is equal to 24 has infinitely many solutions then a minus b is equal to So here you have to find the value of A also, you have to find the value of B also, then you have to subtract. And this was asked in J 2020, 4th September. Shift 1. <coughs> For infinitely many solutions, you remember that delta should be equal to 0. And delta 1, delta 2, delta 3, all should be zero. You can give me separate answer. First, find A. So delta equal to 0, you will do. And from there, you will get A. And you don't have to calculate for everything, delta 1, delta 2, delta 3. You have to calculate only two of them. A8, Aditya is saying. So let us check whether A8 is the correct answer for A. Then we'll see for B also. So 1, 2, 1 minus 2, 1, minus 7, and 3, 1. A, you are saying is 8, right? So let us put 8. Do we get 0? 8 plus 7, 15, it will become. Plus 2 into 16, minus 1, 15, it will become. Plus 3 into minus 14, minus 1, minus 15, it will become. So your answer is correct. A is equal to 8. So I haven't found out A, I just put the value which you gave and verified it. So you can find it also, you can take it A, this is equal to zero and from there you will find A. It is not a big deal. Now, if you want to find that it has infinitely many solutions, you have to find B also for that. 
and for that you can take delta one equal to zero also delta two zero delta three zero any one of them you can take like if you take delta one so it will be first column replaced by nine b twenty four second column will be as it is and three one a you have already found eight equate it to zero and get b I want everyone of you to get B, not any one person. Aditya has given the correct answer. I'm waiting for others. Hamza has also got the correct answer. Others being fast, it is just calculating this determinant and you'll get the answer. Adriel and Priyadarshini. Priyadarshini has also got the correct answer. Adriel. Yeah, correct answer. So B is equal to three. So if B is equal to three, then A minus B is equal to five. So what we are getting is 